r slash ask reddit. Escorts of reddit, who was the weirdest client you've ever had? Former male escort. I mostly had great clients but my worst was a client who was trying to inject drugs into himself in front of me, something I was emphatically not participating in and not comfortable with, he couldn't find a vein and was just bleeding profusely out of his arm. My pants were down around my ankles, he's bleeding. There's a TV show playing which is a series almost linky in interviews with aging residents of a dying rural Canadian town, and then his mom walks in. I wish I could say I learned my lesson and never saw him again but I did. And his mom burst in again. I had weird clients but the weird guys are mostly kind of boring stories. Like I had a guy whose dick I stomped on for like an hour, fantastic client and actually very cute, he was like 21, or a guy who wanted me to control his social media and post embarrassing things about him if he didn't pay for my gym membership every month, he lived across the country and we never met just an absolute gem. I did a lot of fisting too and one guy who liked that was chief of staff for a mildly well-known local politician. It's mostly the guys who did fuck up annoying stuff, often involving drugs, that are actually good stories. Like this one guy who passed out in the hotel room, yelling, moments after I arrived. I scanned the room and was immediately able to ascertain he'd doused himself with tons of GHB. So I posed as a guest at the front desk and said I heard a strange noise coming from his room that sounded like a medical emergency, then booked it out of there. He thanked me via text from the hospital. Never paid me. Sorry, how do you stomp on a dick? Like. Have him lay sideways and stomp it into the floor? Stomp it into his balls? How hard? How does the dick survive? So many questions that I'd give I want the answer to, so not me, but a friend of mine is an escort, cam girl. Maybe not super weird, but the guy asks her to wear a thong over panties all day, and then send said thong to him. He said he likes the smell, but only wants a hint of pussy smell. She finds it funny that the guy wants to get kinky and weird but not too kinky and weird. Sorry to hop on this but the not too kinky part reminds me of this story which I've told before. I used to escort, I'm a guy and did it with other guys, and for a while, I had an ad on a site that was a mixture of dating profiles with a few escort profiles. The escort profiles were marked fairly clearly but a lot of people still didn't get it. One time while traveling in NYC a guy messaged me to poop on him. I wasn't necessarily against it, I would eventually have to shit anyway, I'd make some cash, and as long as I didn't have to, like, touch it after, fine. So I asked him when he wanted as I was concerned about being able to perform and he offered up the immortal whenever you got a big log for me, bro. So I let him know my pricing and he's immediately shocked and angry that I'm an escort, which he apparently hadn't noticed, and he says I could never do something like escorting. Even years later it's still funny to me that he believed his thing was perfectly normal, and that I was the freak in this situation. You know, I've always wanted to hire a group of escorts and make them play Dungeons and Dragons. No funny business, but someone will play the cleric. Any idea of what that would cost? I had one ask me to walk on live slugs and snails in my bare feet. He wanted to film it for a video he was making. Apparently, it was a common fetish and he sold lots of videos. I declined and we just had regular sex. Another had a full-on fetish for being run over. He would talk about it constantly. He had all these stories about how he had met girls and talked them into running over his stomach as he lay naked in the dirt with an erection. He used to show me videos online in similar situations so it must have been another common fetish. I never had sex with him. Just masturbated him to orgasm as I talked about running him over. One night as I was leaving work he came running out asking me to run him over. As I drove off he stuck his foot under my wheel. The next night he showed up and gave me $20 for the hassle. Not me but a friend of my ex was a professional as she called it, just outside Reno. When I knew her she was pushing 40 and had been out of the business for 10 years but my favorite story of hers was when she was paid $10,000 to accompany one of her regular guys to his 20 years high school reunion. He bought her a ticket and flew her to Texas. 
Her job was to basically act as his girlfriend for the reunion, complete with a backstory. She said they had sex once the whole weekend, but that he basically went around to all the people there introducing her to them. He wasn't even a well of a guy, he sold used cars for a living and took out a loan to finance the trip. Just so he could pass off a hooker as his girlfriend at his 20 years reunion. Oh, and during the reunion, she fucked his best friend because she thought he was cute. So this guy's best childhood friend hooked up with a woman he thought was with his best friend girl. I'd have loved to see that come to light. Kind of a twist answer to the question. My boyfriend's roommate was an escort. She was having a slow day so she didn't have any out calls, she didn't get contacted all day except by one absolute weirdo, who asked if she could collect her used condoms for the day and leave them in a garbage can in the bathroom so he could take them home. He was willing to pay $50 a condom. My boyfriend and I were both homes, didn't have a whole lot to do, wouldn't have minded beer money, she asked if we were willing to take care of the job for her. Needless to say, we made $100 that day. She kept $50. Friend of mine that was an escort got offered 10 k to suck off a guy's dog while he watched. She turned that one down thankfully. A good friend of mine was into escorting while in UNI. The weirded, saddest client that she has talked about is when a mother paid for her to date and sexually please her son. This was all in an effort to make the son's father see the son as worthy of a man to continue the family business or something. She once had to be on a family dinner with the four of them. To pick a word choice. I don't think that's weird. I think that's highly unusual. Imagine you're the mother of a boy who is on his way to incelhood. Your husband is a successful businessman and a bit of a self-perceived alpha male. If his son remains a virgin, there's a good chance his father will never bring him into the family business. So you hire a prostitute to be his girlfriend long enough to give him some sexual experience in hopes of building confidence and getting enough respect from his father to end up financially secure. Every bit of that makes sense, it's the collective picture that is outside social norms and causes problems. I wasn't a physical escort, but more of an emotional cam girl escort. I had four consistent customers I had over a span of two-ish years that would vent to me, talk about their day and life. It was honestly kind of like having friends, but friends that would want to see me semi-naked sometimes. I wouldn't call this weird honestly, but I had a very sweet consistent customer who was a closeted trans girl. She didn't have much confidence in her body but the kicker was that she was about my skin tone and her hair was fairly similar. Mine was just a little shorter. She would buy pieces of lingerie and outfits for me to wear and send them to my P.O. box along with the PayPal payment ranging from $100-250. I would model pieces for her over Skype then we would talk about her hormone therapy and self-confidence, etc. After a while, I felt bad for taking her money because despite modeling underwear, she never really asked for anything inherently sexual. Fast forward about two years ago, I checked up on her and turns out her family accepted her and she was fairly passable. She seemed very happy about herself and I'd like to think that I had some hand in that. Not an escort but a stripper. I have so many weirdo stories. I once made a douchebag agree to drink a cup of my piss because he was being an asshole. Another paid me $100 to fart on him. One guy brought in a literal engagement ring for me. Like literally thought we were actually gonna get married in the club with all my stripper friends as bridesmaids. Plenty of feet guys, couple of armpit guys, you name it. It stops becoming weird after a while. Besides I kinda find weird behaviors endearing tbh. Right eventually it just becomes oh this is my job that's it. Like it's not my kink but they wanna pay me to do it and it doesn't hurt me or scare me shit just make it worth my time at least before siesta foster. My friend and I went to the strip club for one of our friend's roommate's birthday parties. Had an awesome time. We went to the bathroom and the strippers in there were talking about how much they fart on dudes when they give them lap dances and the guys won't even say anything. It was a good laugh and I gave her a tip in the bathroom right there. Not an escort but used to be a stripper. The weirdest client I ever had was a man that came in asking girls repeatedly to dance with his grandmother's stockings on. 
he kept asking the wrong girls, half were like so long as he pays money and the other half called him Norman, freaked out, and ran away. Unfortunately for him, he kept asking the second group of girls over and over again. No, I didn't do it. But I was willing to walk on him in my stilettos, which was another fetish of his. Paid me $300 to do it for like 10 minutes, I noped out when he asked me to stand on his neck, 